Today, I would like to talk about the play cadence, fourth to one. So we're gonna build our fourth to one play cadence in C minor. So now we're gonna ascertain the key signature of C minor. So we're gonna ascertain the relative major of C minor, which is three semitones above the relative minor key. So the relative major key of C minor is E5. So we have to ascertain the key signature of E flat major, which are three flats, B, E, and A. All right, and now we draw the key signature for the lower staff, B, E, A. All right, so now we're gonna find the chord tones of the tonic triad. So that is C, E flat, G, C. Now we're gonna find. So now we're trying to ascertain the chord tones of the subdominant triad of C minor. So that's F, A flat, C, and F. All right. So the root goes to the base. C, and this is F. All right. All right. So once you're done. Got to cross out. All right. Now you're trying to have a good voicing. Try to avoid consecutive fifth and octave. All right. So that's what we need to be concerned when we are doing the four-part vocal style. So there is a common tone which is C. So I like to put that in the tenor voice. We should have done. Cross that out. All right. So now I'm trying to put that A flat. Uh, probably in R toe and then that is followed by G all right so now the remaining voices F down to E flat all right yeah so let's try to find if there's any consecutive fifth and octave this is the sixth followed by the fifth all right yep and then let's all right, so you have to make sure that you check carefully if there's any consecutive fifth and octave. So this one, six followed by the fifth. So it's okay, all right. How about we check the interval between these two? So A to F, which is six, followed by G, A, B, C, D, E, six. All right, so there is no consecutive fifth and octave, all right. So please check carefully if you have any consecutive fifth and octave in your four part vocal style. So A to F is a six interval and G to E is a six. And then here is the six interval between C and A which is six. And that is followed by the fifth. So these are all good. So make sure that the fifth interval is not followed by another fifth or if you have an octave interval between the note should not be followed by the octave within the same voice so the fifth and octave consecutive fifth and octave is one thing that you must avoid when you are doing the four part vocal style 